down here in South Texas, I'm by the creek, and I've come across this. Now, as it starts to zoom in, hopefully you can see this, it kind of just looks like a big mud mound with about a half inch to an inch wide hole. Now this is a crawfish hole. And what I'm going to attempt to do in just a moment is actually dig down and extract the crawfish out. Now this should be a red swamp crawfish. That's what I usually have in this creek. And they usually do it when, uh, when the water starts to go down, really. It's kind of a burrow. So let's see if I can do this. The mound usually removes really easy. And you can just take it off the top. But they're really good at making these mounds. So kind of a work of art. And the question is going to be, do I really have too many rocks or too many roots underneath this where I just can't get down through it? So depending on your substrate, you might not be able to do this. Uh, I think I can. I see something moving. So these get to be about 32 inches long and deep, so uh, almost past my arm, some of them. If you're not catching them very often, pick some of the smaller holes. That's usually smaller crawfish, and they don't have as long holes. But extend some trust issues. All right, so I'm over a foot down here, and this crawfish burrow is tunneling sideways, and it's tunneling right over here. And I'm not seeing another hole just yet, but a lot of times there will be other feeder holes that they'll, uh, they'll tear into. So what I'm going to do is start to dig, and it's not... Not one of those jobs that's going to be a clean thing. And success. Here we go, guys. Ah. Got a little bit of mud on him, and he's definitely not happy about this. But there's your crawfish. Whether you're just having fun out on the streams and the creeks, ah, and uh, sometimes they get you. Ooh, that's got a nerve. But this can be survival food as well. Really and truly, that's a lot of pain compared to what I usually mess with with this guy. But uh, you can boil these, you can cook them straight out of the fire. This is a, a food source, especially down here in South Texas, Louisiana, things like that. But they can, uh, they can tell you that they're displeased. I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy back to his hole. He's got some remodeling to do. But uh, yeah, do yourself some crayfish.